I think I have a lot of fans in China who really support someone coming from where they come from and and trying to make the most out of what I can do over here, you know, uh, representing them, showing them that um, I can do, you know, what I'm doing if, if I just really concentrate on it and work on it and it is possible to achieve a dream. I think it's the idea of um, what I'm doing that made them uh, really draw into, into me. I guess. Do you, do you think a lot of Chinese people look up to you as a bit of an a bit of an idol, a bit of a uh, you know a hero and a role model, especially for those people in China? I, I have a lot of I get a lot of fan mails, um, actually not just from China, from actually all over the world, telling me people basically telling me that you, they're very inspired and motivated because you know seeing someone. Um, just making the most out of their life from where I come from, especially people from where I come from, you know, they see me doing this, so they, they're they very inspired and they want me to do well, they want me to succeed, so they can say, yeah, that's one of us, and if she can do it, we can do it too. So for those of us who haven't heard your music, tell us, um, what, what is it like? Who would you compare it to? Um, it's really hard to put in a box, because... Um, as you know, I was born in China, brought up in China. I'm one of the minorities called E. And music is a huge part in our in E people's lives. You know, we we sing all the time, we dance all the time. So uh, for for me as a child, I love the best time would be Chinese New Year because then, which means no school and food all the time, no curfew. Uh, you get to wear new clothes and you get those red pocket lucky money and you can just do whatever you want. So for me, a Chinese New Year was the best time uh, as, you know, as a child in China. And do you get to go back to China um, often? Unfortunately, I haven't been back for a while. I did, I was in China for a while, um, like last year and so. But before that, it, it was hard for me to go back because I came from a very small village, so it's not like a one plane journey that could take me there. I have to take two planes, uh, coach, and and this and that. It would take me, you know, quite a few days to even reach there. So it was it was quite hard. And plus, all my family is in England now, so um, you know, we we're based in Cambridge, and so you, I'm here. Do you ever miss kind of I guess home for you in China? Do you ever miss that? Yeah, I remember I, I went back for holiday uh, in 2006 and and uh, for the first few months that I was back in England, I, I dreamed about China every single night, you know. I, I miss, I have a lot of relatives and friends in China and of course I love the food <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I still have a lot of connections over there so for me, you know, it's a very, still a very big part of me.